Hi everyone, Kayla Calva here from cleverpacks.co.uk and I'm going to share with you guys this week my advent calendar. It's a 3D uh, project, a massive 3D project if you can see. It's taking the whole of my desk and we're gonna have to do this in two parts. Um, I really don't like very very long videos so I thought it would be more productive if we can get our tree done in two parts. So this is our tree and contains small chocolates inside. It's an advent calendar. And the first part that we're gonna do today, we're gonna have, um, I'm gonna work with you guys to make each of these boxes. This one I made in Old Olive and This Christmas uh, Sweet which has 12 different patterns as most of our suites. I've used all, an old stamp set to do the numbers for mine, with the exception of 25, I will show you in a bit. But there is a, a stamp set in our annual catalog that is called Project uh, Life. Let me just get in and show you guys. It's a Project Life dated which have the numbers even easier than the ones that I had to do because the ones that I had to do, I had to put them together. But here you could actually stump each of the numbers already ready for you. So you go from 1 to 25 or you go 1 to 24 and then you get, um, if you have this stump set or if you want to have it, I have done a couple of projects before with it. It's called Mary's Wishes. And the number 25, it actually fits beautifully on a one inch punch. And you could have used this one for the 25. If you don't have this one and you don't want to do it, I will show you guys how to do it without any stumping, um, except the 25 that I'm going to still stump and have it as a, as a larger number. So the first part of our project will work. Let me just put this creep three away because it's, it's such a large item I have to have out of my desk. So we're gonna make the this new tree is slightly different paper wise. My husband asked for to have one of those advent calendar and uh, I don't think he wanted a green thing in his office knowing how things look over there. So he's going to have a Nair Navy with floral boutique. I love this paper because even though it's flourish, is is can be quite masculine and quite straight. So you need 24 of these boxes and one in um, silver foil, sorry. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the boxes today and get all ready for Wednesday for us to come and build the, the, the tree together. So let me just get this to the side and bring my scoreboard. What we have is, this is the last design that is missing on mine. I want to, it's called on the long side at uh, two, two and a half, four and a half and five which is in metrics 5.2, 6.5, 11.5, .5, and 12.8. And then I'm gonna turn around and score a half an inch and a two inches, which is 1.3 and 5.2. So this is all the score that we need to do for the box. Just put it away. And we're just gonna fold and burnish the score lines. It's a very simple box, but it fits two of the chocolates that I bought. I'm gonna show you what it is in a second. If you have more than one kid, you understand. Um, I thought I was doing one for my, uh, it will fit my husband's end. Here we are. And 
let me show you i have a box of them so i chose to buy this lint i bought from amazon actually and uh, they have quite good deals there i think I got two for the price of one that you normally find and they are quite the right size to go here as i said it would fit two of them inside of this so if you choose a different chocolate it would fit perfectly inside as well and it holds the the holds the shape well so let me just put it away okay now if you read this is the, the lid uh, the flap that comes around we wanted to I'm not so sure if you can see but the score line are here and here and here we have the front the back the bottom and the top and this is the flap we want to eliminate I'm just drawing here easier for you to this these two areas this and this so we're going to eliminate the first rectangle in this small square and just get it here and what i would say is i like round corners so i'm just getting the puncher and rounding the corners i did that on the other ones as well you we need also to cut just the straight lines on this and up until the first score line on both sides i said it's quite simple but you have 24 to do so that is that is the labor on this one so what we're gonna do because it's just dsp wool design series paper i'm just gonna use this nail is it is strong enough if nail is not your favorite glue just go for it so you need to put glue on these two flaps and then bring the front in sorry bring the back in and close and then we're gonna glue the front sides of it oops escaping from me today and then we're going to bring it towards the side and just glue it Okay, the box is absolutely ready now to be assembled on Wednesday when we start doing the um, the, com the building up of our tree. What I was saying is I want to reproduce the same numbers for this tree, but I want to use, I'm going to actually hunt right in each of them. So what we're going to do, I am using three different punches. This flower building one, the one inch punch, and the three quarters of inch punch. What I realize is that if I try to write on a paper and then punch, I would I was wasting a lot. And I'm using this shimmery white paper. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna punch the ones that I want to make, punch the circle. So remember, you have to do this 25 times. And I want a scrap of paper. So I cut inch, an inch long, because, because I only want the flowery bits here, which will be the center of this building punch flower. I just don't want to waste, so I cut an inch You're gonna have few scraps here and there, but you can still use this for quite a few flowers. Yeah. It just needs one for this one. I'm just clear this out. So here we have the three ones that I, I I'm using. What I've done is because I'm using the Knight of Navy for the flower, I went on to get the marker. 
So I have the Knight of Navy and I'm gonna use the thinner version, the thinner side of it, a finer point and just create the number. So. It's all up to you how you want to do this. So now I'm going to get a little bit of snail and get it into place. I'm gonna get just like, I wanted my flower to have a little bit of dimension. So I'm gonna use the back of my piercing tool just to get it on. And I am using my rhinestones to make the center of the flower. I like this, but I felt it was a bit too big for what I was doing. So what I did, I got these ones, they come in a chain, so they're all glued. And I come to the side and I normally just do like this. I separate them, but with paper and everything, it's much easier to deal with. Yeah. So what you need to do is just come here and it will come just one of them instead of all. I used my glue dots to put this on back in. And here we are. So I have another 23 to make, but that's how it's going to look when we put our chocolate in place and on our tree. Whilst you get these boxes into the, into the tree, we need something that will hold strongly. So what my advice is, I prefer to use this one than the glue, the wet glue, simply because I will have to hold each of the box for quite a while before the boxes are actually, the glue is dry. So for me, the best the best uh, option is to prepare all the boxes with tear and tape and let them ready to assembly. So this is what you need to have your numbers to close when we get to to the uh, the tree. The box is ready for assembly. Uh, for sorry, the box is ready for attaching to the tree. So here we are. This was fifty for a slip to Christmas countdown. And we are right on the way to get our advent calendar ready. So come back on Wednesday to see how we put our tree together. And if you want more information, just subscribe to our channel and contact me on my blog. It's cleverparks.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Bye.